Hello, my name is Matt Rogula, Service Manager with Entercon Industries. Today I'm going to show you how to properly gap your Entercon Corona treater. Uh, what I'm holding in my hand here is an Entercon gap gauge and this is essentially a plastic feeler gauge that is the thickness of 60 thousandths of an inch or 1.5 millimeter. And we're going to use this tool to basically reference the distance or the electrode gap between the electrodes and the ground roll of a Corona treating system. Now when measuring your electrode gap, there's a few things to keep in mind regarding the design of the system. Always keep in mind that the electrodes, uh, there's a natural curvature of the electrode assembly that is going to follow the, uh, closely follow the curvature of the ground roll. So for example, when we check the electrode gap, uh, right now I'm just showing for demonstration purposes with the electrode assembly out, we're just going to come in from one side and make sure we have about a 60 thousandths or 1.5 millimeter gap, and then we're going to come from the other side and just check for a 60 thousandths or 1.5 millimeter gap. One thing to keep in mind, because of this natural curvature, if we go all the way through, if that gap gauge uh, fits all the way through the electro assembly, we can know pretty clearly that that gap is going to be uh, very large. So in this example of a, a good electro gap, you can see that the gap gauge slides in halfway, again not through both electrodes, but just through one electrode, uh, slides in easily, it's snug, and it's not too tight, not too loose. And then I'm going to check the reference of the electro gap down the remaining width of the electrode assembly, and the, the gap looks very good there. All right, now we're going to go ahead and check the other side of the electrode assembly. In this case, this is going to be the exit side. I'm going to gauge again halfway through, and the gap looks pretty well there. And again, same thing goes, we're going to check to make sure that that gap is as consistent as possible. If you're checking your, your uh, Entercon treater and you find that the gap is a little bit different than it should be, feel free to consult your manual where we've listed a very detailed procedure on setting the electro gap and the tilt. Also, if you have any questions, always feel free to contact us here at Entercon. We'll be glad to help you out. And then just one final word that we do have on the electrode gap is although our guidelines is 60 thousandths is a good starting point, it's been our experience that some customers prefer a little bit tighter of a gap, some prefer a little bit larger, but really the, the main key is to make sure that the electro gap is as consistent as possible across the width of the electrode, ensuring good consistent corona discharge across the width and to meet your performance needs. Again, if there's any questions, feel free to contact us here at Entercon, and thank you very much.